So we know optimal public expenditure formula. In addition to the Samuelson term, there is also a stabilization term. And now we are going to uh, rework it a little bit so that we can interpret it more easily. So there is a stabilization term. The stabilization term um, is M, the, oops, uh, the unemployment multiplier, times 1 minus minus v prime of u. Uh, so this, this is our unemployment multiplier, which we know is du dg. So it says how the unemployment rate changes when public spending changes normalized to be positive. And then this minus V prime of U, here this is just the slope of the beverage curve. Similarly, just like the unemployment uh, multiplier, it's normalized to be positive too. Always easier to work with positive numbers. So um, anytime you're developing formulas, like remember to always normalize your statistics to uh, deal with positive statistics, otherwise you get headaches. Um, so we have the unemployment multiplier minus du dg, something we can measure that it's easy to interpret. Um, and then we have the slope of the beverage curve. So now what I want to do, the unemployment multiplier that's easy to interpret, the slope of the beverage curve, 1 minus, minus v prime of u is a little bit more tricky to interpret. So now what I want to do is rework the slope of the beverage curve so that we can have something that's easier to interpret. So what we're going to do is that um, we're going to get a first order approximation of minus v prime of u, so the slope of the beverage curve normalized to be positive, around u star, the efficient unemployment rate. Okay, uh, <clears throat> This will actually be quite, uh, will bring quite a lot of insight into the formula. Uh, so if we do that, we get so let's do a first order approximation. So I'm going to do first order Taylor expansion, get rid of all the terms that are above order two. So I get minus V prime of U is approximately minus V prime of U, but at U star. And then we take the, we take the derivative of minus V prime of U with respect to U. So that's minus V second of U, but you know that's evaluated at U star times uh, U minus U star. Then a second order term that I'm going to eliminate. Okay, so this is our first order approximation of the slope. Okay, so uh, that's pretty easy. But of course, given how we've computed and defined u star, there are a lot of things we can know. So do you remember that u star, uh, we know that it's it's the unemployment rate that minimizes the non-productive uh, use of labor. So it minimizes uh, u plus v of u. Okay, so basically u star is such that uh, the derivative of u plus v of u at u star is equal to zero. So in fact, what we know is that uh, 1 plus v prime of u star we know that that's equal to zero and that's just because u plus v of u is a concave function. u star is a uh, minimizes it, and so at u star the derivative is equal to zero. So, so um, u plus v prime of u at u star is equal to zero. So from this we learn that uh, <coughs> minus v prime of u star is equal to one. Okay, so that's great. That's going to uh, that's going to simplify uh, some of our analysis. So it means that this minus v prime of u star, so the slope of the beverage curve at u star, that's just equal to one. Okay, so that's gonna simplify things. Second, I'm going to use the assumption that uh, we use to compute u star in a simple case. I'm going to use the assumption that v of u is an hyperbola, which I had used to compute the simple u star is equal to square root of u. So let's make use of that here. So 
So that means that V of U is equal to A, a constant divided by U. So V prime of U is just minus A divided by U star. And V second of U, it's just 2A divided uh, by U uh, to the power of 3. Okay, And so from this, we learn that V second of U it's just minus v prime of u times 2 divided by u, right? Because once you multiply uh, v prime of u, put a minus, add the 2 divided by u, you get, uh, you just get v second of u. And so what I learned from that is that v second evaluated at u star is minus v prime evaluated at u star times 2 divided by u star. But minus v prime of u star, we just said that that's actually an important result. That's minus v prime of u star is equal to 1. So from that, I learned that v second of u star is just equal to 2 divided by u star. That's because v, the slope of the Babbage curve at u star is just 1, which I'd use there. So uh, here we get another nice simplification, the hyperbolic case. <coughs> So v second of u star is just 2 divided by u star. So now, once I plug all this stuff in there, so we're going to obtain the following first order approximation. And you star, so we get that minus v prime of u, it's just 1. So we have the 1 over there, minus, uh, so that's just, uh, sorry, so this is, right. So I have minus v second, so I have minus, 2 divided by u star times u minus u star. So the u minus u star is already present over there. And then I have the minus v second, and v second is 2 over u star. So that's what I get. And so thanks to that, uh, what I get is that 1 minus minus v prime of u, which is what I'm interested in, is just equal to 2 times u minus u star over u star. So that's a super simple formula and one that would be very helpful for uh, determining optimal stimulus spending. So now what we can see from here is that the gap between 1 and the slope of the Bayridge curve, so which is, uh, you know, this is our term that we have over here. So this is the term that goes together with the unemployment multiplier. This is just equal to 2, and the 2 comes from the curvature of the Bayridge curve. Uh, 2 times u minus u star over u star and u minus u star. Now we have our unemployment gap. So that's beautiful. Now we've found a way to introduce the unemployment gap into the formula. Uh, and so basically, the relative deviation of the unemployment rate compared to the efficient unemployment times 2 just gives you the difference between 1 and the slope of the Bayridge curve. And so that's going to allow us to introduce the unemployment gap into our optimal stimulus formula, uh, which should be um, really helpful.